All right, here we are at 2806 Rickdale. And honestly, beautiful neighborhood. Look down there, all good sized houses, little different designs on all of them. And here we go, inside 2806. Uh, wow, very nice too. Basically done the same way as pavers. Clearly you can see well-maintained front yard, shrubbery. You can, you can tell right away <laughs> when people want to take care of a house. All right. Perfect. Absolutely. We'll keep everything clean. COVID-19 days. So similar setup to a lot of North Wilmington homes. You have the dining room, the kitchen, and you actually, I want to point out a decent amount of space when that front door opens up. But these hardwoods too are actually lightened and original and uh, they look great. Remind me of a lot of the lighter ones in Carcroft because I have a house there that's actually, <laughs> the floors look just like this. So big room, pretty neutral paint. This is a light blue in here, just so you're aware. And the windows, while we're on that topic, actually a little older on the windows. They have storm windows. So as far as efficiency, they're pretty close to newer windows, just the ease and convenience of new ones. So back here is a den or family room, wood burning fireplace, spin you around and show you. And you do have a back door there. A nice bay window. Uh, this is paneling that was painted over. You can see the lines in it. Uh, still works, but just wanted to point that out. I'll spin you around. Here is the powder room. Actually, a good size powder room, too. And the whole closet, which in fact is pretty deep. I'm actually going to turn this on. Fresh gloves so I didn't touch anything else. Um, but that's deep. Honestly, a candidate for laundry if, if somebody wanted it, but we'll see how it's laid out. So kitchen, now these floors were updated. So they're the original. The kitchen probably had some form of tile. Uh, I think this is Armstrong flooring. So pre-finished, pretty nice. Check out the countertop. Not bad, the cabinets. I mean, some people would call this slightly dated. But those cabinets are not cheap. Uh, the fridge fits in there perfectly. Dishwasher. Electric cooking, and then we can walk out the back, which we'll save for last. And then this nook here is great. And they even spent the extra money to curve the cabinets there, and even up there with the, the molding. This one goes all the way to the ceiling. I, I, I personally like this kitchen. Some may say it's a little, you know, not as modern. Uh, and they wouldn't be wrong, but still, it's, it's a good size. And the way the fridge fits, Again, just attention to detail that not all homeowners have, or all real estate agents have for that matter, but <laughs> I digress. So dining room tables, good size, dining room's big. Uh, you have the chair rail there. Yeah, so I think that completes the first floor. The homeowners are on their way, so let's be a little quick on this one. Up here, tell you what, you have elbow room, I like it. You walk in, all the spaces, you can breathe. Pull downstairs to the attic. We'll enter bedroom number one. And this is the master. Same thing, the windows are original. That is a king bed, and this is a massive room. So, plenty of space. Pretty standard closet for North Wilmington. You have one there, and you also have one over there. Bathroom, clean and neat. Floor's original, I presume. And then that shower, actually goes back. You can see the line there. It's not as tight as it looks. So it does have a little extra room. That's updated. I mean, probably early nineties. Oak was big then, but a big room. So that's the master. We got one. We got bedroom number two, which I got to tell you is pretty big. These twin beds are spread out quite a distance and it is large. We got a, a clock going off down there. Closet. All right. And then this will give the best shot of how open it is up here. Here's the whole bath. Again, that is most certainly updated. I promise you that's updated too and massive. But the floors they kept, the tile they kept. Yeah. All right. There we go. And uh, just so you know, a little closet right here. But that is the bathroom. So we did two bedrooms already. This is bedroom number three. Again, all these doors are the same on them. 
they kept them, the little folding out ones. Interesting. All right. And blue too. So definitely a light blue, neutral in the hallway. This one's got to be a little darker beige. My eyes are still adjusting. It's so bright outside. Yeah, good size bedroom. It really is. And I'll see the backyard, but kind of nice to see it from up here with the vantage point. Obviously, we knew they kept the front yard nice, so the backyard's nice as well. Good realtor here, too, because all the lights were on. <laughs> Definitely makes a difference uh, going through a house, seeing that. I know some people say, eh, ah, no, it does. So the basement is unfinished. Lights are on. Down we go. Good news. Looking at a poured concrete foundation. Uh, that's, that's nice. I mean, the best foundation you can have, in my opinion, because center blocks uh, can leave little cracks and ways to get in. So this is being used as a wine cellar. Kind of like how it's compartmentalized. Over there is unfinished, and here is a downstairs office. Actually giving me ideas at my current house. <laughs> this works. They situated the two natural light windows in the office. Uh, height wise, I'm five foot 10 inches tall on a good day. <laughs> that never gets old. And um, no, they did a good job. So as I would imagine, Bryant, updated high efficiency system, gas fired for the heating. Outside we'll see the unit. I bet money on it that it matches. They're usually done in pairs and Bradford White, industry standard with the expansion tank everything looks tight and done right uh, on quick evaluation nice and you have two more windows here I'll tell you what i don't see though i don't see now there's a front strain but maybe i missed the sump pump but it's dry down here it smells nice we recently had rain um so no i want to be in that corner Probably be in this corner. Don't want to miss that. You know what? I don't see it. I'll check the disclosure. Huh. Not bad. All right, let's shoot up. But again, you'll hear a dehumidifier running. It's a constant sound. And I hear nothing. So that is good news. Tell you what, we're going to actually pop out the back this way. Yeah, chain lock and that and that. No thanks. <laughs> Changed my mind. One hand operation limits what I can do easily. So, oh, unlocked. No, good thing I didn't miss this. <laughs> so yeah, garage here and this is where you have your laundry. Cool. And let's see that garage. Oh, nice car. No pole, two windows. Yeah. Sorry, this was the quick version. But, um, wow. The same thing. We're just gonna walk around. A little easier. Good vantage point for the kitchen coming this way. It's a nice home. It is. Again, paint to some people's taste, I would assume they want to do. But beyond that, there's not a whole lot. All right. Well, I just used my glove and touched everything in here. So we are safe. Out we go. Uh, I think this was just locked by the handle. So we'll do that. They are coming home. Don't want to touch anything these days. Make sure we are. We are. Let's venture and see that backyard. Alright. You know what? We'll come back and do that. Here we go. So neighbor has a turn driveway. As you do here. Look at this. That's going to be their backyard. Lennox. Alright. And no real way to get to the backyard here. Hey, how are you? But you know what? Yeah, even the landscaping here. Attention to detail. Let's venture. So yep, so this should be a way to get in. <laughs> Driveway and yep, completely open. So not a fenced in backyard. Obviously that can be changed. Nice vantage point of the driveway into the garage. And yeah, nice and flat, two decently sized trees. Nothing major. Clearly you can see they provide a lot of shade, which is nice. So there's the backyard. And I can see an updated 3D architectural shingled roof. There you go. Yeah, so this is, they definitely take care of their backyard. 
You got the shrubbery and the split rail, uh, split rail fence for a little bit of privacy on the side. Look at that. Well, there you are. That completes the tour. Uh, a few things too. I will, I will look into the sump pit and the electric panel. My gut feel is that's updated. Again, you can just tell when people take care of houses. I'm in so many that, you know, it's, it's pretty much common sense at this point. A uh, little bit water control, I like that. Run down the driveway, get out of here. Definitely don't want any water coming in the basement. But there we are. I'll leave you right there. As always, any questions, just let me know. But those are some beautiful skies today. All right, take care.